this question says construct a perpendicular bisector of the line AB. So perpendicular means it's going to cross at 90 degrees. It's going to have a make a right angle with the line AB as it goes through it. Bisector means split in half. So it's going to be exactly in the middle of A and B. So we want a perpendicular line exactly in the middle of A and B. So we're going to use our compass. So I'm going to extend it. I'm going to place the point at one side, the point at A, and extend it beyond halfway. Now I'm going to draw a circle, or part of a circle, from A, and I'm going to switch it around, keeping it the exact same distance, so the exact same length, and I'm going to do a circle from B as well, or part of a circle from B as well. So we've got two intersections. We've got two intersections, and these are two points exactly the same distance away from A and B. And if we join them up, we have drawn a perpendicular bisector. So it's exactly in the middle and it crosses at 90 degrees. This is also the locus of the points equal distance away from A and B. So every point along this line is an equal distance away from A and B. So that's a perpendicular bisector of the line AB. This question says bisect the angle at A. So bisect means split in half. So split this angle exactly in half, halfway between the angle. So I'm going to place my point of my compass exactly at A. And I'm going to find two points, one there and one there, exactly the same distance away from A. So I've got two points exactly the same distance away from A. And I'm going to draw a round, make part of a circle from one of the points, keeping the compass the same length. Draw part of a circle from the other point. And now I've got a point equal distance away from these two points. So that will bisect the angle. So there is my bisected angle. I've split the angle exactly in half. This question says construct the triangle ABC. So we've got to have eight centimeters, which has been drawn for us, and then six centimeters and five centimeters. So we can use our compass and measure six centimeters. So this would be the line A to B. We want it to be six centimeters. So it's somewhere on this arc. These are all the points six centimeters away from A. It's somewhere on that arc. B to C is five centimeters. So let's measure five centimeters. So it's somewhere five centimeters away from C, somewhere on this arc. So our triangle must have at its point, B must be at the intersection of our two arcs. So we join up, join C to B to A, and that is our triangle.